We are back on News 95.7. It's Mortgage 101, your guide to home ownership with Clinton Wilkins and myself, Todd Vino. I have to say, this sounds like a song you'd play during uh, your normal work week on News 95.7. I, I do I do play it. I've when, heard, I think when, I've heard you play this one before. Yeah, you know, when sitting in for, for Rick. Absolutely. That's that's cool. you got to like it, right? Yeah. Come on, it kicks. I think it does kick. And you know yeah. what? I like Foreigner. You know, I really like all of these, yeah. like... I, I'm going to say it's an 80s band. Yeah. You know the song's called... No, it's their 70s band. Oh, it's 70s? Okay. Yeah. You know the song's called Dirty White Boy, and uh, do you know what the subject matter's about? Mm, I have no idea. <laughs> I think it's probably like something like that's very 70s inspired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, we'll leave okay. it at that. It's a family show. It is a family show, and I yeah. thank everybody for tuning in. Yep, absolutely. And it's Saturday. And Sunday. And Sunday. At the same time. You know what? It's Saturday and Sunday, and uh, you're listening to us here live on News 95.7. And uh, you know what? We really thank you for tuning in. No, we're not live. Well, you know... You're, a, the, we pre-recorded this. Let's you're not you're try listening and... to us live. Yeah. I think that's really what... If you're matters. listening right now, you're alive. You are alive, and you can also stream us on the News 95.7 website. Yeah. Why do you enjoy doing this so much, these podcasts? Because you really... You and I have been, I don't know how many shows we've done now collectively, Facebook live streams. I mean, mm-hmm. we've, we've done a lot of We've this. done a lot of shows, yeah. So obviously you, 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 you see the value in it, but, but you enjoy it as well because I think you truly enjoy helping and educate people beyond the business component to it, right? You know what? I could enjoy my weekends and I could just, you know, not do this. But here's the thing. I think education is so important. And I think this is such a great medium to like get the word out. And you know what? We can talk about really relevant issues around, you know, mortgage lending, around real estate, around the market. And, you know, that's really important to people. And I think this is a very unique show that we do. And I don't think this show really happens anywhere else. Yeah. I don't know any other market, at least across our country and maybe even the U.S., that does a show around mortgage lending mm-hmm. and a lot of them and a lot of shows <laughs> a show every 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 month so you know what thank you for tuning in yeah. thank you for continuing to tune in on the weekend and i know that um the radio is maybe not live on the weekend like it once was on yeah. news 95.7 yeah. and i think that we have a lot of people who are now tuning in to listen to our show yeah which i think is really cool yeah for sure all right so some one thing that when people think mortgage is one of the one of the first things people think of is rate and and probably that's a good thing, but it's also it's not the be all and end all. There's, a, but some people doing the drive by shopping for a, a mortgage would go, "What's the lowest rate? That's where I'm buying." Mm-hmm. And that's got value, but that's there's much more to it than that. And obviously. some and sometimes the lowest rate isn't the best rate, Todd. And I yeah. think that's sometimes what people get wrapped up in. And you know what? I'm all about being competitive. I really do believe that this is a very competitive industry and sometimes the lowest rate is really what sells but is it always the best rate and i'm not convinced and i work in the industry and i can tell you that sometimes we hear from consumers that there may be some lower rate offers out there and uh, one consumer told me that customer service or their experience or the advice that i'm giving is not mutually exclusive to the very best rate that they can get so I told the consumer, I'm like, okay, your expectation and the reality are just so far apart, which it really is. You know, I think people really need to understand that what we do is obviously very, very important in the economy. And it's very, very important for people for home ownership. And it's very, very important to continue transactions moving along. And I'm saying that I'm not saying that we're the be all and end all. I'm not. But I do feel that we do a lot of transactions, and I think then we're really able to give that advice, but we're also really able to give a very aggressive price. And I think 99% of the time, we are one of the lowest, if not the lowest, in terms of price point. But it's just not all about price. Okay, so obviously most times you'll want to give somebody the lowest rate. Yeah. People that resonates with people. You can pay four hundred and ninety dollars uh, biweekly, or five hundred and twenty dollars biweekly. Right. So, you, but, but there are times the five twenty is a better option. 
Why? I will tell you why. Yeah. One may be the turnaround time. Yeah. You know, I've heard sometimes there's some no frill len- for no frills lenders that take a very long time for you to get approved and then get funded. Mm-hmm. That is not advantageous when you're in a market like you are here in Nova Scotia. Right. It, it, things happen quickly. And the quicker things move, the more complex it is. And we want to make sure you're protected and we want to make sure that we're funding on time. So that's one reason. The second reason is sometimes the lower rate products mean that you're in a no frills product. And that no frills product could be very restrictive. So if you want to break the mortgage early, you could pay a much larger penalty to get out. And at the end of the day, that could cost you a lot more money than maybe having a slightly lower interest rate. And oftentimes we're not talking about, you know, 1% lower. Who's selling these no frills mortgages? A lot of lenders, including the big banks. Yeah. And you know what? I don't agree with it. I would rather a client pay 0.05 or 0.1 more in a rate. We're talking like a couple bucks a month. So they're no frills. They can do that because they don't provide the customer service. It may not be the customer service. It may not be the prepayment privilege. It may not be portability. You may not be able to break the mortgage early unless you have a bona fide arm's length So they're getting their money somewhere out of the... They're getting paid on that term until the term is up. When the term's up, again, you're a free agent. And, um, you know, I think it's buyer beware. I would much rather lose the client to another lender than give a client a no-frills mortgage. Is that right? You don't sell them, period? You know what? I would say we probably sell a handful a year. And I don't think we sell anything, Todd. But we probably provide a mortgage that is one of these no-frills. Maybe like, I'm talking like five out of the 680 transactions we did last year. It might have even been less than five. And for those clients, they were really super educated about what they were getting. Yeah. And they made a decision that they would rather have a slightly lower rate and give up the flexibility. And these are usually not first time home buyers. They're usually people that are taking those funds out for investment purposes. Or maybe, uh, you know, they've been in the house for several years and they know they're not going anywhere. But you know what? Those people, a lot of stuff changes in people's lives. Mm -hmm. People have health issues, loss of business, matrimonial breakdown. You never know what's going to happen in life. And, um, you know, that's why I think having the flexibility is more important than maybe just like a smidge of a better rate. A lower rate doesn't necessarily mean it's a better rate. So again, it's, it's about education. You've got, you say you've got a handful, every one of those people knew you made sure they knew going into that. This is the product. These are the disadvantages. Mm -hmm. And after that, if they say, look, I feel that, that I'm educated. Thanks for that. But I still want it. Then you feel good about that, obviously. And here's the thing. Twice this year, I've seen a client pay a much larger penalty than they needed to pay because they were in one of those products. Your client? They weren't our clients. They were clients that were coming to us after they already had this type of mortgage. Yeah. And you know what? It's a tough pill for us to swallow. I don't always want to break the bad news to people. I want to be the, you know, the, I'm always giving the good news person. But in this business, sometimes I have to like tell people that they can't get a mortgage or that they're going to have a large penalty or whatever. And um, I don't have control over the other lenders. We only know the type of product that we give and we only know the lenders that we use. So, you know, if you get a mortgage somewhere else and you're breaking it, it's buyer beware. And this is why I think a variable rate is so, so important. You can break it anytime, three months interest. And I'm hearing from clients that some are scared of a variable. I can tell you variable is always better. And historically, clients do better in a variable rate. And I think variable prepares you for the future. Wow, that's a catchphrase. You should put that outside of your building. Variable prepares you for the future. What do you think? I think today it's definitely the way. Yeah. When COVID first really happened, Todd, the rates spiked. And then the fixed rates really went to the floor. Clients at that time were getting fixed rates at about 1.5%. Those don't exist today. Yeah. A good fixed rate today is around 2%, 2 and a quarter, something like that. And, um, and uh, yeah, it certainly is not a direction that majority of the clients are going today. Okay. All right, so we've got uh, more to talk about in the next half hour. Anything in particular that you want to give a tease? What do you think? Well, you know, I think there's still lots of clients that are wanting to get pre-approved. 
And I think we should certainly talk about that. And we can maybe talk about what does the process look like once you have, have a pre-approval and then you're negotiating for a new property. And uh, once you have the offer, uh, what the process is. And looks maybe like. I might derail that too, which I do that sometimes. I right? mean, you do what you want to do. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Mortgage 101, your guide to home ownership with Clinton Wilkins and myself, Todd Vino, on News 95.7. We'll be back.